Hi, I'm George. We're going to take this picture here and improve it, lighten it up, and give it some more color, just like that, using a few tricks, including color grading. Now, let's go back to our original right here, and you can see that it's dark, but it's also kind of washed out, so it's going to require some improvement in contrast and also lightened up. Now, before we start this project, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. You'll find a link for that right down there in the description. First, I'm going to get rid of this file here, so let's get that out of the way. There we go. I'll just save that. Okay, there's a big problem here. Let me show you what that is right now. If we just lighten this up, I can demonstrate that very quickly here. Go up to Enhance, come down to Adjust Lighting, and we'll do Levels, my current favorite. Take the middle control, move it to the left, and that lightens the picture up. But notice we begin getting these kind of strange things happening in the background back here. She's a lot brighter, but that's really causing problems. I can come in here and take some time and carefully adjust that so that she looks good and lighten up a bit here but we still have this problem happening in the background right there. So we need to solve that issue first. This is the basic concept here for brightening her up, but we need to solve that background problem. Now for that, I'm going to separate the subject out from the background. So let's go up here to the background layer, right click where it says background right on the name and duplicate layer, choose okay. And you're going to push this layer here to a much more contrasty, brighter look just so we can see our edges very easily. So let's go up to Enhance, come down to Adjust Lighting and Levels again. And then I'm gonna bring the middle control over like that. Let's bring up our darks. There we go, a bit too much on that. Bring the lights up. Now I don't care about the quality inside here right now. All I care about is seeing the edges fairly well. So I get a good separation between the background and foreground. That's all I care about and that's pretty good. So I'll choose OK right there. Now I'll grab one of the lasso tools. I'll use the standard lasso tool for this. And make sure that your lasso here is set on new and set your feathering here to zero. If you're up a little bit, just move it to the left-hand side. Make sure that's set at zero. And then we'll make a quick lasso right around the figure. If you get some of that wispy hair in there, that doesn't matter at all. And then you can go outside like this, wherever she goes out of the frame, and then come back in again. And then around this side and across the top and back to your beginning point. You can actually cross over that beginning point and that'll work out great. Okay, now there's a little bit right in here. I need to remove that. So let's switch over here to the subtract button and then do the same thing just inside here just to take this little section here out again. There we go. And then go down to refine edge. And using our standard refine edge tool, I'm going to set my radius here at one pixel. It helps a little bit sometimes. I'll leave everything else alone. That should be fine for this one. And then come in here and work along the edge. Now, I like to come in and first go right over the scene. You can see it right here. And I'm using this kind of a red mask. This one's called overlay. It's just real easy to see most of the time. And I'll do it like that one pass and then one pass further in. I'm just going to work my way in. So out first and then come in a little bit closer and then right against the edge. This seems to work out the best to get a good clean edge on that. That's my standard procedure. And we're clear around the whole figure in here. Sometimes you can get it just one shot like that and here same exact thing. This time it's real thin so I just do just one pass and that's all I really need. There we go. And then let's get the top and the other side. And because we're going right onto the same picture again, this doesn't have to be perfect. So the little wispy things aren't going to matter that much. They'll still be there on the original image. So I'll just work your way around. There we go. Again, I work out and then come in a little bit. And we'll go down to this side. As soon as we're finished here, we're going to have a nice selection. And we can turn that into a layer mask. Okay. Just about finished. There we go and right around down here, and there it is. Now, go down here where it says Output 2, and let's set this to New Layer with Layer Mask, choose OK, and that's right there. So there's the one that we just did with and without the Layer Mask. If I hide this, hide that, there's the Layer Mask. Okay, now we can get rid of this one layer here. This is no longer needed. I'm just going to delete that. And what I want is this Layer Mask over here. So I'll come down to the Background Layer, right-click, Duplicate Layer, choose OK, and then take this layer mask and just drag it straight down onto that layer. You can then hide or delete this layer up here, it doesn't matter. Now that we have a layer mask on here, if we apply effects here, 
it's only going to be affecting just the foreground subject, and it's not going to be giving us that problem over here on the background. So we have a bit more control now over this. So this time, let's go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and Levels right here, where it says Use Previous Layer. Check that. Choose OK. And now we can do a more careful job here to adjust our values. And again, it's only going to be affecting just the subject. If I move this over here, you can see that just the subject is being affected and not the background. So that's a careful balancing act. A little bit of light, a little bit of dark, a bit more of the whites over in here. There we go. You can kind of see that real thin line there. That's where your whites are. And they're really just along this edge down there. Now you need to make a decision how much you want to brighten this up. That's probably too much. I kind of like the darkish feeling. I just want to be able to see more of what's in there. So something right around in here I think is pretty good. Now notice once I have the balance in here between those, if I move this left control, that middle control also moves over as well. So it kind of gives me a ratio in there when I'm doing this. But I think right about there is pretty nice. Now we can double check this by clicking this little eye right here. There's the original and here's the new version. So it has that same dark light feel to it, but it's much more contrasty, much more interesting. So that's taken care of. We've now improved our lighting quite a bit and improved the photo a lot. And we didn't touch our background. If you want to take your background darker, you can do that. Come down here to your background layer. Go up to layer, come down to adjustment layer and levels again. Check that checkbox, choose OK. I'm just going to darken the background down just by pulling over the black side here, the left side and darken down that background. Okay, that's a real nice looking image now. Now let's bring some color into this by putting in a gradient map on top of this and then blending that gradient map into our subject. So let's make sure we're on the subject layer right here. And then layer, come down to new adjustment layer. This time go to gradient map. Make sure your checkbox is checked right there. Choose OK. And it applies this gradient onto that layer. This goes black and white. We don't want that. Click into the gradient and you get the editor right here. You can then choose from several different gradients. I'm going to put this right here. And if I go over here, you can see how these do different things like that, kind of fun. Now what this does is it maps the left-hand side to the dark parts of your photograph. In this case, just that one subject layer. And it maps the right-hand side to the light parts. So we're actually color grading based upon your color choice up here. And there are a lot of options in here, a lot of things you can choose from different gradient sets. But we'll stick with this basic gradient right here. Now you can change your colors. Just click on that color stop right here. You can then click down here and choose a different color if you want to. I'll leave it at the default on both sides. That's fine. We'll close that down. Now obviously I don't want to have that. I want to have this color blending into the image in behind. Into that right there. So let's go up here to where it says normal. These are your blend modes. And you click on dissolve. And then use the wheel on your mouse, just roll down the wheel. You can roll through these and see the effect of these different blend modes. That's the darken mode, multiply, color burn, linear burn. Here is a darker color. It doesn't look good because they have this kind of blotching happening in here, so that's not really a working one. There's lighten. So you can keep on going down to the that you like. And for this image here, I want to be using this color dodge one right there. That then brings in those colors. Let me just show and hide that layer. There's before and there's with. We've added a lot more color back in just by using that gradient map right here, mapping those colors to the darks and the lights and giving us that nice color grading effect in there. Make sure you check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. The link for that is right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.